So what's up YouTube? So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Uh, we're gonna do some ribs. We're gonna do four slabs of ribs. These are beef ribs. Uh, I do beef ribs because I don't eat pork, so I don't cook pork ribs because I can't taste them. I don't know what they taste like. I don't know if I'm getting it right. Uh, so I don't cook pork ribs or for that matter anything else uh, that's pork. So we're gonna do beef. Most people think pork when they think ribs, but I'll tell you if you haven't had them, beef ribs are really, really good. If they're done right, they're really tender. Uh, it's a big piece of meat, a lot of meat on them. Um, we're gonna do some barbecue sauce up. They're gonna be right. All right. So we we'll get back with you. So all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get rid of the membrane in the back of this. There's a I don't know if you know, but on the back of beef ribs, probably in the back of pork ribs too, there's a membrane that runs down the length of the ribs. And what happens is it's really rough and it's really thick. And no matter how you cook your ribs, like the style of cooking them, or the time that you cook them, no matter how long you cook them, it simply doesn't cook down. It doesn't get any less tough, no matter how long you cook. So what you got to do, the hardest part to doing this is getting it going. Then you got to get an edge of it up. Alright? Sometimes it's a little easier, sometimes it's a little harder. There you go. Get you a little piece of the edge if you can. All right, a little corner just to start with. I use a paper towel once you get a piece of it to grab because you can't grab it with your hand; it'll keep slipping. All right, and then you want to do what I just did, which is pull all the way across. So you got it all the way from one side to the other. All right. Get a good grip with your paper towel. Hold down this end, and then you're gonna pull back, and it should, if you're lucky. Uniformly pull off the whole membrane. Alright? And you can see that. Uh, if I can get it in the camera view. It's a very tough, you see, I can stretch it, it's not going to break. Uh, see how tough it is? Well, it did break, but you see what it took to break it. And what happens is that'll stay just like that no matter how long you cook the ribs. So you can end up with meat that's really tender and, and good, but when you go to bite through it, um, you know, you'll, you'll bite into that. What you should also do is, see how I'm going back over this? And I'm going to go back over the whole thing. Sometimes that, that membrane will come, come off in layers. So you see right here, even though that membrane pulled off of this part, there's also another layer to it. So go back and make sure you get all the little pieces. And on this one, it's clean now, okay? So I'm going to do that for the other three slabs, uh, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so next up, we got those all cleaned off. Um, got all those uh, membranes off. Next thing we're going to do is just take a lemon and go over each slab and I'm just going to do one slab all right and just squeeze it while you rub it over the slab all right half a lemon per slab put some olive oil on here you don't need a whole lot rub it in Then you're going to add your seasoning. Use whatever you use. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to use a smoke rub from, um, from Williams and Sonoma that's really good that I like a lot. I also have a, a rub that I put together myself, but this one I'm going to use this stuff here. All right. Give you a nice amount. Pat that in there so it sticks really good. You really want this to stick good, especially the way I'm going to do these ribs because uh, these ribs are going to be hanging. They're not going to be laying down, so you really want your seasonings to stick on because I'm going to hang them. Now I want to, obviously, when you hang them up, you don't want the all the seasonings to fall off of them. Okay, so there you go. You got your first rib slab. I'm going to do the other ones, and I'll get back to you. All right, so there we go. We got four slabs, two and two, stacked on top of each other. Uh, you can see how they're seasoned up. Catch up. Lemon and your olive oil on it and moisten them. Helps your seasoning stick when you got your seasoning. Alright. I only season the top, I don't season the bottom of the ribs. Alright, so we're gonna let these sit here for about an hour uh, and come to room temperature a little bit while I get the fire uh, and the smoke bottles going the way we need it, and then I'll get back to it. Alright, so we got these hanging. I just got them in here. Uh, just want to show you real quick before they start to cook. So that's what you got. You got four slabs in there, like I said. 
hanging from the top of the grill. We're gonna let them cook for about five hours. At about 225, uh, 250, we're gonna float it back and forth between there. All right, we'll be back later on. Okay, so here we go. It's been about a little bit less than two hours, uh, maybe two hours, but I also uh, I had to go to the store to get an ingredient for my sauce. And I left the grill uh, with the damper exposed so the heat died down on me, so it hasn't been a true two hours. So we're gonna put a little spray on there. You see that some of that meat starting to render already. You got a little spray on it. All right. It looks good. It smells good too. All right, we'll be back with you in a little while. All right, I think we're somewhere around the three and a half, four hour mark. I kind of lost track somewhere from there. We're gonna hit it again. It's moving along a little faster than I thought. I told you about five or six hours, I think. It's clearly not gonna be six. Looks like it's gonna be a lot closer to five. In fact, look how good they look. Ooh, it's hot though. Look at that. Mmm, uh, that's good. Oh. You know, a little piece off. You got that? Look. Look. Very tender, it's very good. All right, we got a little bit of a while, maybe another hour or so, and we're gonna get these things out, put some barbecue sauce on, they're gonna be right. You see, all right, we get back to you. All right, YouTube, we're just about at the five hour mark, and I think they're right where we want them to be. Look at that, we're gonna pull them out. We're going to set up a plate, uh, and I'll show you what a plate looks like. All right? All right, so let's take a look at what we got. We got some slabs out here. Well, that part just kind of fell off. These are tender. You cut through them pretty easily. You see how easily you can cut through those? And look at the meat. That meat looks real good. Cut through them. Look at that, that's really nice. That's really pretty. Yes, yes, yes it is. That's really pretty. So, we're gonna get the rest of these cut out. Uh, we're gonna get a plate going. Oh, look at that, look at that. And I'll show you what the plate looked like. All right, be right back. All right, so here we go. Let's get a little barbecue sauce on there. A little bit on the table, but they ain't never hurt nobody. Let's see what we got. Got the macaroni and cheese. You see that? Let's take a little taste of that first. That's on point. Let's try these ribs. Mmm. Tender. Mmm, good. Very tender. They slip right off the bone. That's good, you two. Beef ribs, macaroni and cheese. You can't lose, baby. Try this. Tell me you like it. Favorite, like, all the good stuff. Peace.